Many tales are told and songs are sung about the various pieces of loot that can be found on the Sea of Thieves, but none ring as true as the Chest of Fortune. This enigmatic coffer is a prime target of traders and killers alike, with anyone willing to put it all on the line for a chance at this here chest. So when my crew and I stumbled across a mythical Fort of Fortune, we foolishly tried to gain entry, not knowing of the target that we had placed on our backs. But like our would-be rivals, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, so let's go back to the beginning. Dude, don't do moan like that, Sam. Jesus. It's only 10 in the morning, mate. We begin our adventure today in the bright shores of plenty at Sanctuary Outpost. With no voyage and a thirst for blood, we were looking for trouble, and before even leaving the outpost, we saw something most intriguing. How do I see oh! money? Level 4 Reaper's Emissary, let's go. Let's go, boys. <laughs> There was a level 4 Reaper's Emissary about to stop at the Reaper's hideout, likely with a lot of loot to sell. But not only that, there was another level 1 Reaper's approaching the island, likely with the same intentions as us. This was certainly going to be interesting. <laughs> no, what's my monkey doing? He was just dancing for a second. <laughs> As you can see, on our way to certain conflict, we were preparing well. But as we approached the island, we could observe a strange sight. The sloop from earlier got the jump before us. So of course, after scaring our adversary off, we peppered the ship with cannon fire. <laughs> this is such a sad fight. I killed one on the shore. And Sam jumped into the wreckage, moving loot from sea to outposts like the little loot goblin he is. Meanwhile, we got into a prolonged battle with the other sloop, which was proving to be a real thorn in our side. I'm gonna get on. Oh yes, one of them is dead. <laughs> Another one's dead. Dropping they're... their anchor. Yeah, nice. Yep, they're both dead. Both dead. Mm. Though it was rough, we send them to the bottom of the ocean. And with our loot, we become a Reaper's Emissary level 5, allowing us to view the entire map and hunt for more unwilling victims. Is what I would say if there were any victims left. So of course, we attempted to go hunting for people to slaughter. I like this spooky music as we're about to go Yeah, oh. yeah. We're going underwater. Oh! Wow. Oh. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, Sam and Michael started choking on dick. Oh, there's a kraken right there. Look at that, guys. Oh, yo. I'll, I'll take a hit. Do you sound that kraken <laughs> see? <laughs> After our very interesting dive underwater, we continued being an overworld nuisance until we were finally put down by a pirate legend that knew me from ages ago. I need help. Now nah, we're done. I am on fire. How do I kill this? I've seen you before. You have? Oh, did you anchor our ship? Yeah. We have? Oh. Yeah. Would have been fucking ages ago. I was concerned by this because at this point I hadn't played the game in nearly a year. So what I did to cement my name in this player's head, I shudder at the thought. But we did not let this temporary setback get in the way of us making money. So after quickly recuperating, we were back on our bullshit. I'm about to fuck some people up. You have no idea. Right? Show it. Look at me. <laughs> it looks so out of place. Not long after, we stumbled across a lone skeleton sloop, fresh for the picking. Confident in our ability and our supplies, we went to engage, only to be caught by the Kraken. Not good. Oh, this? Kraken. Oh, that's, that's, not, that's not nice. It seems that Walter's wish from earlier had been granted, and after our ship and our sanities were pushed to the brink by this foul deep sea creature, we managed to take it down, allowing us to harvest the Kraken meat. <laughs> Thank you. You look so dopey when holding that up. So what did we do after this? Rest and recover? Nah, we went to do the ghost ship event, and while our supplies were indeed low, we were able to quickly restock after sending a few of these ships back to the Sea of the Damned. Like this sloop has been doing, but we're gonna kill it. Because it's just been there this entire time. Yeah, it's just been chilling. But there was something concerning about this situation. Something suspicious, even. A sloop was stopped off at the edge of the event. Letting our schizo voices take the wheel, we go and pay them a visit. He's trying to snipe us. Oh, two of them. Top. That rock. Oh, he got me. Can I get a raise? 
Little did we know the fury that this would unveil. After finishing the event with a substantial amount of loot, as well as a nearby reaper's chest, we decided to stop at an outpost to sell. However, again, there were familiar rats lurking in the ocean around us. Hey, what's that over there? Is that a sloop? That is a fucking rowboat that some two people just got out of. Do you want to grab it? I'm um, no. I'm pretty sure that's those two from earlier. And then we saw it. The Fort of Fortune. So where are we going? Oh, nope. Turn around. We're going to that. Dropping everything, we decided to go for the fort, not aware that we were being tracked. Slowly and systematically, we cleared the Fort of Fortune, defeating wave after wave, determined to get that chest. But there was danger on these here horizons. Fuck, that's a player ship. And not only that, the rats were back from earlier, coming back to try and finish the job. They didn't get very far. Yep, yeah, they're like right under us. Fuck you guys. But with all this danger around us, it was clear the clock was ticking. And after finally defeating Red Ruth, we had done it and acquired the chest. Is what I would have said. So it spawns above. Yes, it does. Very nice. Actually, nice. Wait, where's the key? Where is the key? Thanks to Rare's patented fuck you technology, we had missed out on our key, and I was a little pissed. But after a short break, we were back. Same crew, different server. And what a different server it was, as almost immediately after leaving the outpost, we ran into conflict with another galleon. And not only that, but a skeleton galleon and a megalodon. <laughs> they must have pissed off some fucking god, because this is really bad for them. But our fights were not over yet, as a sloop tried to use this time of confusion to get the jump on us. And while they were doing a good job harassing us, I decided to finally get off my ass and actually do some fighting for once. Ridiculous? One of them's dead. I'm anchoring. Do it. Do it. Uh, flip us around. Someone hard. Full, hard full sail up. I, like, bring the sails all the way up. We're turning yep. as hard left as possible. I killed him. I killed both of them. After making a new rival, we were granted a brief reprieve, and my crew and I scurry off to Reaper's Hideout, where we sell all of our ill-begotten gains. That's when we get engaged again by the same sloop from earlier, who clearly had it out for us. Oh, wait, guys, I've hooked onto them. <laughs> what does that mean? That does nothing, right? Or are, are we now just, like, stuck to them? <laughs> we're now just stuck to them. Alright, they've broken it. Uh, After this rather eventful start, we found again what we were looking for, another Fort of Fortune. And with this much conflict so far, we were sure that this wasn't going to be an easy fight. But just as we were approaching the fort, someone might, have, really do it? someone might have done it. Someone had beat us to it. And oh, what a mess we were getting ourselves into. Very quickly, we identified the ship that had completed the fort and potentially had the chest of fortune. So we began to give chase, but not after two more sloops began firing upon us and our target. On the right. The other one's coming in behind us as well. What the fuck are they shooting at? Before going any further, I decided to step foot on the island to identify what had been taken, and lo and behold, the chest was nowhere to be found. So back it was to the ship to let the grueling fight continue. Turns out having three sloops fight a galleon does not seem as open and shut as you'd think, as not only were these players many in number, but they were also pretty persistent in making sure we couldn't use our damn sails. However, before long, we had sunk our first target, being the ship that had completed the fort, one down, two to go. But there was a problem with this arrangement. Sloops are fast and small and a bit of a pain to hit, and we were running out of supplies. Wood had dried up, and soon cannonballs would as well. So we began scrounging the battlefield like little rats, looking for an extra banana or two in sheer panic, as these two ships circled us like sharks. Very soon, however, we found the supplies needed for our continued conquest and put them to good use, as the Reaper ship that had been causing a lot of trouble during this fight was caught between us and the other sloop. And here is where we do a little trolling. Under the guise of peace, a ceasefire was called, allowing us to get our bearings. We don't, we don't want no trouble. Rock. Not knowing how much loot the Reaper had acquired during its sojourns to the island, we were prepared to call it a day. But then, we saw it. And unfortunately, it was a bit too much to give up. Yeah, get, yeah, drop, 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 their, drop their anchor, drop their anchor. Yeah, drop their anchor. 
After sinking our final opponent, we had come out of this fight the winners of the fort. But here's the sad part, there was no chest to be found. Whether buried or taken or simply despawned, we could not find the chest anywhere, meaning that this treasure once again had evaded my grasp. And after scrounging the rest of the loot and also having the sloop once again on our ass, we decided to leave, but not empty handed, as we were in possession of nearly an entire fort's worth of loot ready to sell. And with a battle like that, it's hard to be disappointed. And after selling our haul and committing a bit of further hijinks. Guys, please help me. I'm a, I'm a refugee. These guys have attacked me before as well. Please, I'll help you. I'll, I'll fight them with you. We concluded our journey at Plunder Outpost, but we were not alone. Our rivals that we had been fighting earlier had also made their way to Plunder Outpost and joined us in a little boogie, showing that the real treasure isn't the chests or the gold, but instead the friends we made along the way. The end. Just kidding, we got together and burned a new spawn's ship to the ground. No! <laughs> 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 if you kill yourself, you can't